Angelique Lazardi, Sean has the afternoon off. Prostitution, drugs, sex trafficking, even gun violence, just some of the issues that have plagued the city of South Tucson for decades. But according to residents, it's only getting worse. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live in the one square mile city with the latest. Lupita. Angelique, I can tell you that right now there are two to three South Tucson police officers patrolling the area here, and they're doing the best they can to answer the calls to the motels that are located on South 6th Avenue and the freeway. Large fentanyl problems there. We've had multiple shootings there. Uh, in your normal other types of crimes there. Just at two of the motels alone, officers have responded to over 1,500 calls over a two-year period. Since Chief Denohyan took over as chief 16 months ago, he's also brought in federal agencies. Last summer, I had the alcohol, tobacco, firearms. They ended up doing four search warrants at 3020 South 6 and two at 305 East Benson Highway after doing some undercover operations there. The violence has spilled into the adjacent neighborhoods. Ed Beltran, who has lived in South Tucson for 15 years with his wife, says his dog has been shot, a bullet went through his house, and he constantly finds evidence of drug usage in his yard on a weekly basis. So why do the Beltrans continue to live in South Tucson? These lots have been passed down from generation to generation. Why should we let go of that for the sake of some drug dealers selling drugs here or sex traffickers? Estrella Soto works at Lourdes Beauty Salon, and they've had their share of problems since the business opened 12 years ago. I think our biggest issue would be the hotel behind the Burger King. That one just is full of drug addicts and everything. She says they call the police, but realize they have their limitations. So are the citizens safe? They're safe, but it's, it's not a good situation down there. I mean, it's a, it, there's a lot of crime down there, and it's a, it's a poverty-type situation, and with, those type of, with that type of situation, you get the problems that come with that. Chief Denohyan says that there are a lot of good, hardworking people here in South Tucson who deserve a safe environment. However, due to an overall lack of funding and resources, the city is doing the best it's can, it can with what it has. Reporting live from South Tucson, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.